Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have asked me to do more videos on the Arrow Garden. Uh, it seems to be the topic that people are very interested in. So today I'm going to cover some of the things that I use my Arrow Garden for. Um, the Arrow Garden can be used for basically anything. Um, vegetable, like leafy greens are great. Herbs are super easy to grow in here and they will produce a ton. Uh, peppers uh, are a little bit more tricky because they can grow enormous and uh, it'll just basically outgrow the aragorn so usually peppers are not a good option but you can actually do pruning to keep the plant small and it will produce a good enough amount of peppers for you to use so today i'm going to show you a few things that you can do um, if you want to grow peppers so here I have a pepper plant that is pretty nice and full and this is a plant that I have done a few videos on this is the ahi cherapita peach and uh, originally I grew this plant from seed and to keep it small I did the, the filming method prune it and all that stuff to keep it small and then once they fruited I chopped the entire plant down and then now it's back to fruiting all over again and as you can see look at all of these flowers there so this plant is a huge producer so i'm gonna get a ton of fruit there are actually already a few fruits on here you see this one here that's that's a fruit right there so if you if i lift up some of these i may find some more but there it is right there there's a fruit right there in that little area so I'm gonna get a ton of fruits for this but the problem here is I don't need this plant anymore so I'm going to get rid of it but before I do that I thought I would show it to you so um, to grow plants or peppers in the air garden there's a few things that you can do to uh, uh, kind of like make it easier so you can start seeds in the air garden um, I don't like to use the unit to start seeds. I mean, like I do use the unit, but like uh, the full function of the unit, like allow the unit to run, fill it up with water and all that stuff. So I start seeds in a Ziploc bag and I place it into uh, this thing here. So let, let me show you an example. All right, so for starting seeds, uh, I usually don't use the Aragorn to start seeds like this. I only use it once the plant uh, is already grown a little bit and then I'll I'll put it in there because I really don't want to fill the unit with water while the seeds uh, are are being sprouted so what I do is I'll keep I'll keep the light on but I'll put the uh, the sponge or or if you, you can use rock wool and just cut it down to size so these are rock wool here and I cut it down into two pieces and, and then I just push it down see that there's piece one and then the piece number two and that way you don't have to purchase the uh, the air garden sponge if you don't want to or if you already have rock wool you want to use so then what you need to do is wet the rock wool and then put the seeds in and then put it in the ziploc bag like this because when you keep it in the ziploc bag the moisture stays within the bag and then uh, it'll be enough to have uh, um, the seed sprouted and then I, you, you just put it there like that inside the unit like so and all you need is to use the light and keep it on for a few hours a day you don't need to keep it uh, too long and then they will sprout so that way it, it's you're not using the unit and then could, because when you use the unit then you have to fill it up with water and then once the seed sprouted you have to dump the water out and clean it up and all that stuff so it, it's kind of like a mess or, or it, it'll take a bit longer than <laughs> it or it'll take more work so this is usually what i do so it works the same And the, once the seeds sprouted, always put multiple seeds. And then once they sprouted, you can actually pull the extra one out and put it into a different unit. So when I started the sangria here, I put four seeds. 
and out of the four, three sprouted. So here I have, so those are, these are from the same package here. So they, they sprouted within the, the rock wool. And when the seed seedlings are young, they have a straight root. So you can just gently pull it out and, and then you have multiple um, seedlings to work with. And then I, I put it into my koozie unit that I always do. And the koozie unit here looks like this. It's just a, a bottle there cut down to half. And then I put the uh, the rock wool in there with a one inch net cup, I mean two inch net cup, and then allow it to grow. And with this, I can actually experiment some more. So here, these guys are only running with uh, regular water. And then here, I actually added like half strength nutrients. And as you can see, it is much larger. And look at the root system. So um, once the, the seedlings are about, um, so these are the cotyledon, and then once you get the second set of leaves that is slightly large, you can give it uh, half strength nutrients and then they will grow. So that's how I usually do it. And then I put it into a koozie and because the arrow garden is also growing the seedling, then I also use it for the extra that I'm testing with and as you can see the tests are much larger or slightly larger but the roots are more than these because these have not developed any roots yet so these guys are gonna grow much faster so if you want to put this back into the arrow garden then you just have to try to fit it into um, to this you can cut it like here see I cut the the, the like that and when you put it like this, it'll, it'll shape it back together. So it's fine to cut them. So that's just in case you want to test around. And then you have um, uh, extra seedlings that grow really well. And then you can do that and put it back. So those are, that's how you start the, uh, the seedling. And once they're in here, uh, around this size, you can actually give uh, them half strength, same as this and then set the pump to be one hour on and one hour off and uh, make sure your pH is between 5.9 somewhere around there don't don't let it go above 6.5 or drop below 5.5 okay the, the lights uh, at this stage you can actually increase it give it about uh, 8 to 10 hours a day of light and one hour pump on one hour off um, you can the pump really doesn't matter um, but you don't need to use the unit to the full capacity at this point and then after a few weeks they're going to grow much more and once they get to uh, the size where they are going to split into a Y and then you can prune so I have a pruning video maybe I'll try to include it in here so you know what to do but uh, in case I didn't include it in this video I will include the link so you can watch the other videos that I that I did Alright, so then, uh, and then the, the plant will remain small if you prune it properly. Uh, make sure these are always on because if the light hits the nutrients in there, algae will grow. And then many people always wonder like, hey, what is the problem with algae? Um, uh, you, people always talk about it. Uh, so what it does is lights with water and oxygen and nutrients algae will grow easily and what they do is they'll uh, attach on to the roots of your plant and then slowly suffocating it and killing it 
So the more algae there are in your unit, uh, it'll compete for oxygen and resources with your plant, and it will kill your plant uh, if it gets out of control. So uh, in the air garden unit, it's really not a problem because you change constantly. Like every few weeks, you should change it out. Sometimes I get lazy, I'll change it like every four weeks. But every two to three weeks, you should change the nutrients out just to give it a fresh batch. That way your plant uh, can th thrive well because everything needs to be balanced and, 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 and clean. Okay? So um, there's another way that you can start seedling. You can start it in the soil and then take it, take it out of the soil and rinse it off and you can put it in here. But I, the best method is just, just to do not um, do anything with soil because uh, you can potentially put pest into your unit. And because this is indoor, it, pest could come. It's rare. So that's why I usually avoid the soil. Uh, I just start everything here. That way it's nice and clean. And I know and that's the best way to prevent most of the pests from happening. Um, once they get to the size where they're starting to fruit, uh, what you need to do is you would want to increase the pump. Uh, I usually allow it to run uh, nonstop at this, a at, at this age, but really it's not required. You can do two hours on, one hour off, or whatever. That's up to you. You can just test around, uh, but that, that's the cool thing about the Aragorn. It allows you to set the pump however you want. Um, and then they will drink nutrients very, very quickly. And because they're fruiting, they drink as, and they also soak up a different type of nutrients at a certain stage. So that's why it's good to change it out because during fruiting, they'll take what they need to keep the, the fruits and the flowers alive and all that stuff. So then it'll leave behind excess that it doesn't need. And then the nutrients become imbalanced. So the, the pH will fluctuate. So a lot of the time people wonder why the pH fluctuates so much and I usually ask uh, what stage the plants are in. And if they're in fruiting, um, th the fluctuation would be very constant. Every few days you may have to check it because that's what happened. The plant just start feeding and then it'll, it'll raise the pH. So uh, keep it constant, uh, change nutrients uh, as much as uh, as the plant used up so it, it will drink much more so then every uh, week a week and a half it probably drop below the half and then you can either add it or you can change it out completely so uh, and then you can also do a, additional pruning because uh, when the plant is this full it'll block lights from getting through to some of these here and so what that is gonna do is it'll just kill the the fruits because the peppers do need a good amount of light and uh, also pH does cause pepper plant uh, to drop flowers and temperature as well so um, again uh, things that cause flower to drop um, are uh, imbalanced nutrients imbalanced pH uh, temperature uh, of course heat too heat will cause it to drop so high heat low heat and uh, also sometimes if you have too much, uh, the plants can only sustain so much. It'll just drop some to keep some. And then also light. So um, clear these area out to allow lights to get through into the sections where no lights can penetrate through. And that would also help with uh, reducing flower drop. So uh, there it is, guys. I hope that is uh, some good information for you. Uh, Air Garden Unit is a very fun uh, system to use, especially in wintertime when you can't do anything outside. And also, I use it to speed up plants' growth uh, and then uh, to produce my crosses uh, to speed up the generations. So people, uh, sometimes people ask, wow, man, how come your generation is so quick? That's because you can actually get maybe two to three generations in the arrow garden if you do it properly. Uh, and then as soon as the fruit, you can just take the fruit that is ripe, 
kill the plant and then start the fruit over so you get you get a, a real good progress on speeding up your 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 crosses and all that stuff and also you can use the aragorn to produce new new hybrids and that's what i'm doing right here so uh this is going to be my experiment for the uh the winter i'm gonna do a new cross here's the sangria i love sangria guys it, it's a beautiful plant with a, a nice ornamental fruit it doesn't taste bad but it doesn't have any uh, heat but um, it's very very pretty so i'm going to try to make a very beautiful ornamental plant that would taste good so uh i hope it'll work it'll if if it'll work i'll i'll show you guys in the future if it doesn't i'll just toss the unit out and um forget about that I mentioned it anyway guys I hope um, you enjoy the video and uh, uh, if you have any more questions on the Aragorn unit or if you want me to do additional videos on certain things just list it below because I'm kinda out of ideas right now so if you guys will let me know it I would try to make a videos on that okay thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe